Hey guys, I am camping this week. It's like half a week, it's a two night camping trip and I've only been vegetarian for a little while now and I almost don't even want to call it vegetarian because once a week I let myself eat meat. So, but when I went on YouTube to try to find like what food I can make on a campfire that's vegetarian, it was all vegan and it involved a lot of tofu. Not the biggest fan of tofu. So I decided I'm gonna make a video on my vegetarian camping campfire food. And I think this will also be a really great like informative thing because everything I buy, I buy for like a double use so that I can also use it in LARP. So like all of the things that I'm making, I'm making with my cooking tools that I have for LARP. So if you're looking at like a multi-day event thing and you want to set up a tent and camp there and you want to cook stuff but the only campfire is in-game, a lot of my cooking tips or what I'm making you're going to be able to make in-game on the campfire of your LARP, hopefully. <laughs> Tonight's the first night here so the only thing I have to make today is dinner and I got some potatoes ready to put in my cast iron grill over the campfire. Everything that I prepared or am about to make I prepped before I left so I have jars of cut vegetables and just remember that if you're gonna cut potatoes to put water in the container that you're putting the potatoes in or they'll turn brown I learned that yesterday <laughs> the tent behind me is also the tent that I LARP with you can kind of see right there there's a logo on it so I have different colored canvas for whichever character is using the tent. I just cover it with that color canvas. <laughs> but usually everything inside of the tent is also decorum too because I'm super extra, but I'm just regular people camping and I didn't want to load up my car with everything I would need for LARP when I won't be LARPing. So it's just normie camping this time, but it's the only tent I own. <laughs> I hope you like the food that I cook and I hope you like the way that I cook it and maybe you can use this video as like a learning tool for cooking in your LARP. So obviously like the Laurie's bottle and the salt and pepper shakers weren't like decorum, but it is super easy to switch out the utensils you're using for wooden ones. The food itself, the potatoes, you can definitely put it in the pan and season it and everything in your tent or out of view of people before you actually take it out onto the campfire. I ended up prepping more potatoes than fit in the pan, so I had to make like a second batch of potatoes and I'm going to use what's left from that to make breakfast today. And I also pre-cut a bunch of other vegetables that I was going to put in my like breakfast scrambled eggs, whatever it is that I'm making today. It's not really an omelet, it's probably just scrambled eggs. <laughs> it's really early and I can't really concentrate on making this video, but enjoy. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, tonight is our last night of camping here. I'm already starting to pack some stuff up so that I can just get out of here in the morning. It's been really, really hot, so I want to get home as soon as possible to take a shower. I'm burning up the rest of our firewood. We decided that we're not going to be making breakfast on the fire tomorrow so that our dishes aren't hot and my fire rack isn't hot when we try to pack it into the cars. This campsite does require that we are off site by 11 a.m. What I made for lunch today was just, you saw it earlier in the video, I had a little tin foil thing. It's literally a tortilla and then beans and then cheese and then another tortilla. I just wrapped that in tin foil and then whenever I wanted like a snack or something, I just threw it on the hot coals that were already going in the fire. And then it was ready to eat. The cheese was nice and melty and it was warm and the tortilla was a little bit toasted, which was really good. One more quick tip is if you do what I did with um, preparing vegetables before you come to your campsite and you decide to put them in mason jars, it actually is a decorum, but it's preferable that you find a glass mason jar that doesn't have writing on it and then your lid, hopefully your lid is blank and if it's not, what I did with my old mason jars that I could not find, I painted, or I didn't paint, but I took a paint marker and I painted in just the floppy lid in the middle, the ring part, you don't need to paint, but the extra like disc part that goes on top and then you screw down the outer part, I just colored that in with a paint marker and then it was fine. <laughs> we went on a hike to a waterfall today. If you want to see pictures of that I would suggest checking my Instagram account because I'll probably post those even before I post this video so thank you for watching I hope it was a little bit interesting and maybe a little bit informative if you liked my video like this video click on the like button leave me a comment down below about what you liked about what you think I should do better if you have any tips for me with that cast iron skillet because when I made those potatoes they just got stuck subscribe to my channel I try to make new videos every Friday this video in particular will probably be up on a Saturday or a Sunday because tomorrow is Friday and I'll be going home tomorrow and I'll be unpacking my car tomorrow so it probably won't be up immediately <laughs> But thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.